Welcome back to Painting with a Purpose. Today we are going to be painting a flamingo and for that you are going to need yellow, white, pink, black, blue, and green paint. The brushes you're going to need are the same three we always use, uh, your medium flat brush and then two round brushes, a small one and a big one. I always like to keep my handy dandy rag by me to wipe my brushes off and a cup of water to keep my brushes clean. So let's get started. We are gonna start with our flat brush and we're gonna create um, the space that our flamingo is going to be in first, just so we don't have to paint over it. So with our flat brush, I'm gonna take just a little bit of pink and white on my brush and I'm going to start just by making an oval football shape. So this is an oval that has two points at the ends. Kind of looks like an eyeball too. Um, but this is just our oval football shape. This is going to be the body of our flamingo. And we're also going to give our flamingo a curved neck. Okay, so this kind of looks like a backwards letter C coming down. I'm gonna add a circle on the front of this, same colors, just that white and that pink. Now we are not doing any details right now with our flamingo. All we're doing is kind of laying out the shape so that we don't paint over it. So I'm just gonna grab my brush and do a little bit of pink and white right along there. And again, this is not gonna be the final shape, but this is gonna be a decent idea of what our shape's gonna look like. The last thing we're gonna add is just a small little triangle tail to the back side. So now that we have this ready, I'm just gonna wipe the extra brush off in there. Um, it actually starting to look like a flamingo already, isn't it? It's crazy. But I'm just gonna wipe the extra paint on my brush off because I don't really like to waste paint. But like I said, we're gonna come back later and clean that up. I'm gonna wash my brush off with water. And then I am ready to move on to my background. So for my flamingo, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my flamingo standing in water. So we're gonna have like these nice blues and greens. It's gonna go up to like a yellow green, and then we're gonna put some more blue in the background. So what we're gonna do with our brush is we are gonna create um, a textured look. And to do that, we are gonna take blue and white on our brush, and we are going to be making little lines of color all the way across the bottom fourth of our painting. So the bottom fourth of our painting is all gonna be the same. It's going to be just little lines and you do wanna fill the whole space in. So don't think to yourself, oh, I'm done, I did what she said. You wanna fill in that entire space with these little lines and these little spots of color. This is what's gonna help our water look like it's moving. It's just all these little lines of color. Now this is a pretty dark blue color, but I want it to get a little bit lighter as we go up. So I'm gonna add white just to the top. I want this to be a little bit lighter as I go up. So I'm gonna do one more row, not adding any blue on my brush, just white. Just adding some white. Perfect. I do actually wanna make another area just like this right up here in this area. So we've got like one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. This area right here, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Now you're gonna wanna be a little careful when you go around your flamingo, but remember, we're not finished with our flamingo. We are still gonna add to it a little bit. If you start to get kind of close to the neck, it's okay to leave a little white space because like I said, we are gonna fill that in. But I'm just gonna fill in some blue in this area as well. making sure I'm having this nice texture. If I wanted it to be one solid color blue, I would have told you guys to mix a blue, but what we're looking for here is this really great texture behind our flamingo. So I'm gonna actually pull my brush this way because I can get really close to my flamingo by pulling my brush backwards a little bit. All the way up into the neck back down. Great. 
Great, so now that we've got our blue for our flamingo done, I am gonna wipe my brush off a little bit. I'm not gonna wipe it off all the way because what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add some light green. Now, if you don't have light green, you can make light green by using green and yellow. So I'm gonna use a little bit of green and a lot of yellow because I want this to be a very light green color. And I'm going to simply mix this in going up a little bit all the way up to my bird. If you are a fan of bird art, you need to look up an artist named John James Audubon. And he was an American artist, scientist. Uh, he did a lot of drawings of and paintings of the American birds. And he's quite a phenomenal artist. He, his paintings look almost like photographs. So get up right there, right around that belly of that bird. I'm just gonna go straight into yellow. So I'm no longer dipping into any green because I'm gonna go straight into yellow all the way up until I hit that blue again. And then of course, magically, it's gonna turn into green because blue and yellow mixed together makes green. Keeping my brush kind of clean. I'm gonna go right up to that flamingo body, really keeping that great texture. I go up. If your brush gets too dirty and you're mixing too much greens in, just wash it off with water. That will happen when you're mixing paints. Sometimes you need a little bit of water to keep it together. So now we're going to actually blend these areas in. So we are now going to be blending these areas a little bit. So to do that, with a clean brush. I did not wash it off, but I do have a clean brush. I'm just gonna kinda go through and I'm gonna make a line go between the two areas. Kinda pull some of it up a little bit higher, pull some of the screen down a little bit lower. What we're trying to do is we're trying to make it look like there's not a solid line between where the colors meet. You wanna bring some of that blue up, bring some of that yellow down, but it doesn't look like it was a design flaw that we've got these straight lines. Look at this straight line right here. We don't want that straight line, so I'm gonna wipe my brush off. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing up here. I'm just gonna kinda blend up a little bit. Bring some of those greens down a little bit. Perfect. Now, what are we gonna do with this upper area right here? Well, I'm gonna wipe my brush off. I'm gonna wash it off, actually. I wash my brush off, and we are gonna create almost like a sky. So I'm going to use just white first, and I'm gonna paint the whole area white. It's okay if I hit this blue area because we're gonna be pulling some of that blue up into our sky anyway. I'm gonna paint this whole area white. Paint this whole area white. Being mindful to go right around my flamingo's head. And after my whole area is white, I am gonna smooth out that line so that it doesn't look like a bumpy, chunky line. And I'm gonna pull that blue that I gather from that up into my sky just a little bit so it's almost all white with just a little blue. If you're not pulling any blue up, it's an easy thing to fix. You just grab a little corner of blue, place a couple dots in your sky, and rub it on through. See how that works? Now, we are gonna wash our brush off. We are gonna take a little break and when we come back, we are gonna add some details to our background as well as to our flamingo. I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> 